Hello guys, my name, is, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google Forms with a Slack. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Google Forms or log in to our existing Google account. Once we do that, you'll soon enough discover that we can't make this integration uh, through Google Forms and we will need the help of third-party app. I'm, I've decided to use automate.io and I will leave the link description. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Sorry. Once we're in here, let's go to integration at the top corner of our screen and then hover over uh, this pop up window to the bottom left part of it and click on see all categories. Now we should start with app integrations. We should find the first app that we want to integrate. So let's write down forms as Google Forms and it's a third option. Once we do that, let's go uh, to the opposite side and pick its counterpart, which will be Slack. Straight away, there's a couple of popular integration that we can use straight away, pre-made it by automate.io. If you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, Scroll down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, we want to go with a new response in spreadsheet as if it's in Google Forms. On the opposite side though, we want to go with a Slack. So we have like five options, but let's go with the first one just to show you guys. Now we should click on try it now button. And the last thing that we have to do before finishing this integration is log in or register our account at automate.io website. And yeah, we would be finished. We can also use zapier.com, which is basically a very similar app uh, with to automate with some little twists. Once we create an account here, we want to go to the top left corner and create a zap. As you probably thought, we also need to create a trigger. So we will once again have to look for Google Forms. We have to find ourselves the trigger event. So let's go with the first one once again. Continue. Now uh, let's log in to our existing account. And we should pick a spreadsheet from all those sheets that we got running. Let's go with this one, for example, worksheet. Well, it's a pie chart. So the pie is a worksheet here. Continue. And now we can test the trigger. On the second action, we want to, as you probably thought, go with a Slack like this. Action event. We also have to manually pick one, continue. And last thing is we have to log into our existing account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.